back to Brew Review Winnipeg. Oh, we need to do an intro. That works. Welcome back to Brew Review Winnipeg. I'm ashamed to admit we've never actually done a uh, Barnhammer beer before, which is really sad because they were the first people to open up a tasting room here in Winnipeg, and so we want to apologize for that and get on with a review of one of their signature beers, the Saturday Saturday Night Lumberjack Double IPA. I'm really keen to give this bad boy a go. I believe it was at Flatlanders. I could be mistaken. I often am. So let's uh, crack this bad boy open. Uh. Now, here's how you pour these bad boys. You gotta sling them around over your uh, over your forearm like that. And while you're doing so, you thank your sponsors, Boston Pizza. Thank you for sponsoring us because we could never afford to eat there on our own. And then you tip it into the glass. And that is how she's done. Smells really good, smells quite hoppy, which really is good. Uh, one of my buddies does a lot of craft beer, and this is often what his beers smell like, so I'm really keen to give this a go, uh, just because it gives it a nice homemade feel. Yeah. Wow. That's delicious. Yeah, there's a lot of hop to it, there's a lot of body to it. It is a very heavy filling beer but you get such an intense burst of like citrusy hops and, and just good hops in general that it makes, makes up for it. Really easy drinking, goes down really smooth. And then you just get a bit of a spice of a hop that just kind of sits around. It's really nice. Mm. On a scale of one to 10, Oh man, that's a lot sweeter than I expected, to be honest. Wow. So this is kind of like a like a fusion of really drinkable beers, but also really intense beers. Wow. I would have to give this bad boy a, a 9 out of 10. Like honestly, I would be just as fine drinking this in the summer, because it's got such spicy hops, but then I'd also drink this... Uh, characteristically in the winter because it's, it is quite heavy so cheers and to pay even more homage to Barnhammer Brewing Company we're gonna be doing the New England IPA review as well I believe it's called the Melon Ballin the Melon Ballin IPA don't know how they came up with that 